yeah now let's uh, discuss about the components of the networks see usually if you are considering the general architecture of an uh, company or whatever you think they will be like uh, it will be usually it will be like three layer architecture okay or better if i'll go to next slide it's really once we'll go back and we'll come come front again okay yeah this is a cisco's three layer architectural design okay sorry hierarchical design if you want to if you want to start a company and it, if it is a networking company and you need to you you need to make your network devices may communicate with other devices in the world or uh, any other branch basically you will have this architecture okay that is one is a access layer other is distribution layer and the other is core layer and under below this access layer you will be having the host for suppose consider or yeah yeah here here it is my servers my pcs these are my hosts hosts are the devices with which you interact you are just sending your message then phone will be your host because that is the first device you are interacting okay and above that you will be having the access layer devices network access layer devices okay these are the devices which interact between the host that is your pc or mobile and the network this is the point where networking starts you got the access device okay above it you will be having distribution layer okay where the distribution layer is it makes intercommunication between one access layer device and the other access layer device okay and in turn if these devices want to communicate with isp or any further then that then ultimately that communication must pass through the distribution layer to the phone layer okay now what is core layer core layer is the top level of the networking device where usually in real time scenario we we connect in the core layer we communicate we connect these devices to isp isp you got it usually the cisco three layer hierarchical design will be in the three layer three layer that is access layer distribution layer and core layer okay access layer will be the devices which first inter which interact between the host and the network okay then the distribution layer will be those devices which make interconnect intercommunication between the access devices for suppose think that you know for suppose think that my these host need to get some data from this server okay or is he wants to communicate only with this pc now the data passes through the only access layer it can it, it will not go from here to the distribution layer and from distribution layer to the core layer there is no need of going there is no point of going there is no point of making this communication to go all the way from access to distribution distribution to core and come back again okay there is no point if this pc wants to communicate with this pc directly the data goes from this pc to access layer device and this access layer uh, device will directly send this data to the this pc this oh. is access layer communication oh. yeah I don't know if you want to server that you can do it. Yeah, I'll come to that. I'll come to that. Okay. This is access layer communication. And now, for suppose think that this PC, okay, this PC wants to get some data from this server. Okay. Now, if it wants to communicate with, to, with this server, ultimately, the data has to go from this device to access layer device. And from access layer device to the data will go to distribution layer. 
and this device will in turn send this data to the this access layer device and this access layer device will send data to this server ultimately if you want to make communication between two access layer devices the data has to pass through the distribution layer device okay and for suppose thing that my this pc this pc suppose this is pc1 wants to communicate with my pc 50 which is some somewhere else okay somewhere else which is some it is which is some other branch of my company at that time ultimately the data goes to my access layer and the distribution layer and to the core layer where core layer is in turn connected to isp and through isp the data goes and the communication will happen like this so it is all dependent how do you deploy it okay if you get this you will able, you will be able to get my this thing as i told you the devices below the access layer are the host these are my host my laptop my pcs my tablets my smartphones my servers this all will be at host layer where these devices will initiate the communication right yeah. you are getting my point yeah. my network access devices these are the devices which sit on access layer okay these are the devices which sit on my access layer okay the data sent by host first hits on access layer devices that is hub source switches or access points whatever it may be the communication or the data initiated by my host first hits on access layer devices then then if needed the data goes to the network infrastructure devices where in this case these devices will be at the core layer core layer and in between you will have the distribution layer also okay in the distribution layer we can either have the routers or the switches whatever the thing the combination can be made to sit at distribution layer okay so what what are the devices that are core layer what core layer yeah. yeah core layer usually we use routers and firewalls and even you can use multi layer switches also these are the devices. What, that's what I'm saying. Here, instead, you can have add one more point: multi-layer switches. If they are capable, if these devices are capable, you can use them over at the core. Okay. But we usually we use routers and firewalls for security reasons. We use firewalls, and if you think there is no need need of security for you, we can use the routers and the multi-layer switches. If they can be able to, if they are capable to manage the data. And if they will be able to process the data that much cost, then you can use the multi-layer switches. Okay, so host the devices which initiate the communication, access devices the devices which interact between the host and the network. Okay, and these are the devices which sit at the core layer. Okay, and make communication between the branches and through the ISP. Yes. Okay. In a simple panda, you can tell that these are the devices which make communication in one LAN, in one local area network. For suppose, think that I have a network of 10.0.0 slash 8. This is my network. Okay. Now every com the communication must happen only in this network. Then these will be useful okay now i have two networks one is uh, with the network area of 10 and the other with 11 network okay now a pc from this network needs to communicate with the pc in this network then we use this routers and firewalls okay And of course, there is no need of explanation in this course. 
but as the time goes on we'll be having a very in depth view of this device okay once we start the router uh, routing we'll come to know what is what does routers do and once we start the switching we'll come to know particularly what switches do okay but if you consider an overview switches will just uh, make the communication possible in a lan okay and routers will make the communication possible in between two different lans okay one lan pc wants to communicate with other lan pc ultimately you need a router where its work is to switch the packets from one network to the other network okay right